Hey guys, Matt with CJ Off-Road here. Today we're out back of our 2018 two-door JL. We're gonna be installing a set of these brand new LED taillights. Now as you can see, our Jeep came equipped with the factory halogen taillights. And while they are great, they just aren't really cutting it on this Jeep. Now that we have it lifted and some custom features on it, it really doesn't match the build. So what we decided to do is pick out a set of these red lens LED taillights, and we're gonna be installing them today. Now what I really like about these taillights is that they are a great upgrade whether you have halogen or LED taillights, and if you have the advanced safety group, they include all the wiring plus all the brackets necessary to get that hooked up on that taillight. What I really like is the modern design too there. It almost all flows together, and they are DOT approved, meaning that they are 50 state legal, and they're gonna be good to go on all 2018 and newer vehicles. The best part is you don't need to reflash your vehicle either. We plug these right in before, and they work flawlessly. Now, if you're not a fan of the red, you also can choose a smoked lens or a clear lens. We've already done an install on the smoked, and those look really neat too. Plus, they're DOT approved, so no need to worry about the law when you put these on. With that being said, I've done enough talking here. Let's pull these off. I'm really excited to see what those look like, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is pop off this plastic cap that's right behind the tail light. Then the next thing you wanna do is grab yourself a 10 millimeter socket or the factory long torx bit that comes in your toolkit and loosen up the bolt that's behind here. This is a plastic bolt, so make sure that you get it on there the right way. We like to use a 10 millimeter socket because it doesn't dig in as harsh as the torx bit does. Also, when you're doing this, you're gonna wanna hold the outside of the tail light or have a buddy do that, that way it doesn't fall. And here's a shot of what the plastic screw will look like. It's spring loaded and then you can see the threads are in there. It's got a torque spit and a 10 on the outside. Set that down, pull your factory tail light out. It might take a little bit of force. This connection here, you'll have to pull the red tab back and disconnect the plug to the factory tail light. So you're gonna see two harnesses that come off of the back of the taillight. One is gonna be for the standard taillight functionality, and the other one is gonna be for the blind spot monitoring if you do have that system. Now, since in our Jeep we don't have the blind spot monitoring, we don't need to do anything with that plug, we can set it aside. If you do have blind spot monitoring, there's gonna be a bracket, and of course this plug to plug into to make all of that work perfectly. We're just gonna go ahead and plug this simple one connector plug in, and with that click, we're gonna push all the wiring in through the body, Line up our alignment pins, push them in, and you can see that's a nice firm fit. Now the last step we need to do is tighten up the screw on the inside, pop that cover back on, and we're gonna be done. Once you get them nice and snug, you can pop the cap back on, just by pushing that end in first, and it'll click down, and repeat the exact same process on the other side, and that'll wrap up your installation. So as you can see, here is the running light, then we're gonna put on the brake light and see what that looks like. Definitely a much more modern look out of these lights. Honestly, they're a huge upgrade over the factory halogens. And we'll power it on here, put it in reverse and show you guys what that also looks like. Also a super bright LED in the back just to help you with reversing. Definitely looks a lot better than factory. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on these taillights on the back end of our 2018 JL two-door. Now, as a first modification, I would definitely recommend these as it takes less than 10 minutes. Plus, you can use all the tools that came with your vehicle. You don't need anything else, and you can literally get them done in a parking space at your local mall. It's not hard to install these things, and it completely changes the look of your Jeep. I've got both of them on now with the sequential turn signals going, and they really do modernize the back end of your Jeep and really make it look aggressive. There's no warning lights on the dash and all the turn signals are functioning properly due to all the engineering that goes into these taillights to make sure they don't hyper flash or go crazy on you. Now, if you wanna check these out as well as the smoked and clear versions, be sure to visit us at cjponyparts.com. Hope you enjoyed that video. To stay up to date on our CJ Off-Road videos, make sure to subscribe up top here. And for any other installs, make sure to click the link right above.